Ugh, God, this is sketchy. What's up guys, welcome back to the 207 Outdoor Channel. I actually just got off the ice and was surprised and happy enough to see that I had gotten my February mystery tackle box uh, in the mail. It's actually a couple days early, so like I said, I was actually very surprised and excited to see it. Uh, I'm gonna do a very short intro uh, just cause I wanna get this opened and out to you guys. Uh, plus I've got a small tripod plus my iPhone 11 balanced on about 10 books. So it's actually eye level. Um, so before that falls, I'm gonna try to open this box up real quick for you guys. We will get into it. All right, I'm gonna set the box off screen right here, I think. We got our sticker. We have got our Dibble Tips and Tricks, which I'll check out after this. We've got our, um, we've got our What's Inside type of sticker. Uh, looks like it is going to be a fun box. So I'm actually gonna go down the list. So first we've got the Guggen Squad Scout. Oh, so this is the, oh, that's sick. So it's the Guggen Squad um, big jerk bait. And I say big, just it's not really all that big, but it's definitely bigger than jerks I usually use. That's a pretty color though. It's got the blue on the top, the white, clear, big rattle. This, I'm gonna tell you what, during the spring, during our white perch run, will slay. Plus I've wanted to try out some uh, other Guggen Squad baits. So this is actually a pretty good opportunity. It's diving depth is only four to six feet, which might be a little high for the white perch run. Cause it's pretty, see, it's pretty shallow in there anyway. And with the perch run being right after ice out, the water's a little shallow, um, but I'm definitely gonna be in to try it. If anything, I can just give it a couple jerks, let it sit and rise. Although is it a suspending? It is a suspending jerk bait. So that might be a little deep for the perch run, but nevertheless, I'm definitely gonna try it. And that is a sweet bait. I've, ne I've never done a ton of jerk bait fishing, but that is a sweet jerk bait to get started on. Next, we've got the Carl's Amazing Baits Thwacker. And that, if I know right, that is their lipless crank. Yeah, that's sick. This is a good box so far. So it's that like fire craw color. Uh, I mean, I'll show them here, but I'll also do a secondary angle where I'm kind of voiceover talking about the bait. I like that fire craw color, especially up in my camp, they feed on craw, uh, crayfish a lot. So that's a sweet color to have up there uh, during the spring and summer. Actually, you know what? I might set them up like that so you can actually see them while I go through the rest. Okay, no, I won't do that. Next, we've got the Bass Dynasty Dynacraw. Well, that's actually a pretty interesting color. It's like black with red flecks. It's no color I've ever really used. I bet it would work really well. I feel like this would work a lot better in clear water. Oh, that's like a cool, that's a, almost, if you look at the back, it almost looks like it's supposed to be like a Ned Rig hook, but it's also super wide. Like if that's supposed to be for a Ned Rig, that's a super, super interesting design. And the appendages have big like paddle tail swimmers on them. You know what, this actually, this would be pretty cool actually as a smaller chatterbait trailer, I bet. Those paddle tails going crazy as you're reeling in. That's definitely an interesting bait. It's not just the basic craw. It's actually a little smaller, at least lengthwise, than most of the craws that I use as trailers. And it's an interesting color too. No color I've really used before. Like I say, it's that uh, all black with the red flake. Sweet. I'm a, I'm a fan of this box so far. Let's look, what we got next? So we got a 10,000 fish death striker. That's not you. Ooh, that is sweet. This is by Catch Code too. And if I'm not mistaken, I can actually use this ice fishing as a jig, which is perfect because obviously in Maine, we're not doing a bunch of open water fishing right now. Like I said, I just got off the ice. If I go out next time, this will definitely be something I'll have to take. At least I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the one that they've advertised as both an open water and an ice fishing bait. Inspired by the innovation and craftsmanship long associated with Japanese lure market. Ready to tame your local water. It doesn't say anything. I'll probably put a little like text right here just saying whether I'm right or wrong about this being the actual one uh, for ice and open water. I mean, the you can see, and I'm sure I'll do a, like a little voiceover, but right there is where the hook or the line would attach to. So it's not off to the front. Where the bait would kind of sit like this it would it's kind of going to go like this it'll stay relatively vertical or horizontal uh, as you fish it which i think would make it pretty good for ice fishing that's a pretty cool bait too i'm not gonna lie i wasn't a huge fan of the last box but this one is actually really cool so far next we've got hard hat jigs lumberjack flipping jig all righty that's what i like to hear what the size is it three eighths ounce all right perfect I like that. I like that three eighth ounce size. It's a nice, um, it's a nice like middle ground size. Like you get down to quarter ounce and that can be kind of like a micro jig size. And then 
my camp does a lot of weeds so if you go up to like a half ounce you're pretty much burying yourself in those weeds and you miss out on a lot of fish unless you uh take the boat out into some sandier water but we got that typical kind of green pumpkin black flake color which is pretty good for any natural type water and even some dirty water uh the green pumpkin isn't too shabby either as far as jigs go that's a pretty basic color and works on a lot of different type of water I am in for it. Actually, I don't know if you can see, but I've got all my jigs just sitting right here because I took the little jig box I had uh, to put my ice fishing stuff into, but that's besides the point. Next, we have got the Carl's Amazing Baits Varmint. Oh, this is that, this is their, uh, like, craw creature bait that I was looking at on their website. That's sick. I actually, by the, once we hit open water, I was actually going to get a pack of these at some point. And now I do not have to. And it's that green pumpkin color too, so it'll match really well with that flipping jig, that hard hat jig. Those are some, the appendages are really cool on that. You got these two little small ones on the side, and you got these two big ones that I'm guessing you just open up and they'll flip a lot more than they are right now. I'm guessing they're a little stuck together. And that's a small little bait too. It's a smaller profile. You could use it, I guess, for a smaller Texas rig, but I think it would work a lot better as a trailer. A couple of these, the these the um, varmints, the flacker, are a couple of baits that I was probably going to get in the spring and summer anyway um the february box or the january box was okay stuff i wouldn't try but also stuff i probably wouldn't get to try um which is nice because i can do some stuff i'm not necessarily comfortable with but this stuff is sweet it's stuff that i've never used before stuff that i wanted to use and i'm comfortable with but also stuff that i can learn to try and use because it's not it gets kind of out of my comfort zone uh looks like we got two more we've got oh man how am i gonna say that daiki daiki daichi assorted worm hooks or no, yeah, they are assorted worm hooks. So it says on the, this thing right here, it says they're assorted, but here it says they're offset worm hooks, so they're not assorted. It doesn't say what size it is. Oh wait, no, they are assorted. I can actually tell, because this one right here is a lot smaller than these couple ones over here, so the, there's different sizes in there. That's actually pretty cool. I like that, because I'm never really sure when I uh, I would like pick a worm or something like that that I want to use uh, before after I pick my hook, and then I realize that the hook is a little too big or a little too small or vice versa. So this is actually pretty cool to take with you if you just want to do some Senko fishing or stuff like that. And you're not exactly sure what size hook you want to use. You have a variety pack literally right here in this little package, which is pretty sweet. Uh, and last but not least, we've got the Big Bite Baits Limit Maker. These little guys right here. Ooh, man, those are sick. Those look like little finesse or drop shot um, baits. Let me take one out. They honestly look like, at least the tail, that kind of just, thin tail profile toward the end right down here it reminds me of the um not the i think it's it's a ten thousand fish bait it's either the shimmer swimmer or the shimmer shad i don't remember which um one of them has the paddle tail and one of them has this type of tail it reminds me of that bait it's also got like a like a wider profile right here in the middle of the bait it kind of dwindles off to the tail pretty short toward the end of it if that makes any sense like a lot of the bait is that thicker profile um, which might actually give it overall bigger profile for those bass to to munch onto. This is a pretty cool bait too. And drop shotting is one of those bait, those techniques that I've never done once in my life. Drop shotting is something that I've really wanted to get into. So that's definitely going to be something I explore. But that is the box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to get it out as, f as quick as I can. And like I say, I'm surprised that this came in as early as it did. Like I said earlier, I actually just got off the ice about a half an hour ago. Uh, this video will go out uh, probably today. I'm going to edit it and get it out ASAP. Um, I don't, I, I don't actually have an official upload schedule, but what I'm trying to do with these, especially with these boxes is I'm going to get these out as fast as I can, at least the day I get them, if not, maybe like the day after. Um, and then in between those unboxings, I like to do at least one video. So you'll see this today and then probably what's today, the, the like April or February 8th. So probably the second or third week of February, I'll put out the video that I recorded today. It's a pretty cool one. Look forward to it. We caught a bunch of different fish. We were running for traps. It wasn't just like pike fishing up north you're waiting for that one big fish we got to actually chase some flags today so it was really fun uh i don't want to do a super long outro i hope you guys enjoyed like comment subscribe if you did uh definitely hit down in the comments if you have any questions or just want to talk i'm going to do my best to respond to every comment um which shouldn't be a huge deal i mean i don't it's not like i have hundreds and hundreds of comments on my videos um but like i say if you enjoyed definitely stick around i'm gonna be doing these unboxings at least until may and then at least one video in between each unboxing depending on stuff like class schedule homework how much i can get edited how much i go about fishing uh, but i'm rambling so hope you guys enjoyed see you next time